The rumors for Sly Cooper the past couple of months have been absolutely insane. Let's talk about it. Whoa! What's up guys, Canadian Guy here, and back with a brand new Sly Cooper update video. So, last year, rumors started about a new Sly Cooper once again, saying that he was going to be having his comeback. As time went on, more and more people though started to dogpile, saying that they had info while just parroting the same information from another leaker. It was hard to determine who was legit and who was a mimic. Most of the info that was different was mostly from unverified sources or people, or really didn't mesh with the information that we had that seemed more, well, concrete. I actually made a pun here and you didn't even know it. I'll explain later. I also want to give a quick shout out to Venomous, who's a follower of the channel, who actually helped me put together some of this info. Anyway, before we had two industry insiders who were commenting towards Sly Cooper that seemed like there was some sort of backing. Nick Baker, who was the one who kind of started the snowball of this rumor, and Roberto Serrano, whom I'd like to add was the one to claim that the company that was working on Sly Cooper was located in the UK. This then led us to believe, with all the evidence that we previously had, that Sumo Digital was going to be the studio working on the title. I even made a video about it as well. But another source has come forward talking about Sly Cooper, and their credibility is building fast. A user by the name of AccountNGT, which I will be referring to as NGT for the rest of the video, made a big thread of PlayStation related leaks. Before I talk about NGT though, I want to swing back to the more stable of the two leakers before, Nick Baker. Now, some argued about Baker's previous leaks, saying he was technically wrong on some things, like the name of the Ghost of Tsushima DLC. Even though he was one to break that there was going to be a DLC for Ghost of Tsushima in the first place. He said that it was called Ghost of Ikishima, but the DLC was called Iki Island. So saying that he was technically wrong is a bit redundant if you ask me. But NGT's leaks have been a bit more frequent and been right on the nose. NGT so far leaked two images for Star Wars Eclipse about a week before it was announced. Then, that Forspoken would be delayed, and previously had shot down multiple dates and times as to when we were going to see Hogwarts Legacy, and then said it would be shown off with 100% certainty in March. So far, they have hit the nail right on the head for all of their so far confirmed leaks. Star Wars Eclipse was announced a week later, Forspoken was announced to be delayed, there were not one but two state of plays in March and one of them being completely dedicated to Hogwarts Legacy. Then, while I was scripting this video, they stated that there would be big PlayStation news coming very, very soon. And in the morning, PlayStation officially announced their new PlayStation Plus subscriptions, codenamed Project Spartacus. They also leaked numerous of other things, so much so that other accounts are claiming that some of NGT's tweets were being taken down by developers. NGT has been on fire with their leaks, and it just so happens that they issued a number of comments on the Sly Cooper franchise. So. I contacted NGT myself to make sure that I had everything locked in on what they had said about Sly Cooper, as I was getting bits and pieces of comments that they had previously said on Twitter before they deactivated the account and on their Discord. The information that NGT brings to the table publicly at the moment is the following in regards to Sly Cooper. They say that, yes, a brand new Sly Cooper is coming and that it will be a brand new game and not a remaster of any of the previous games. However, we are unsure if it's a soft reboot of the entire franchise or just a sequel for Sly Cooper 5. I also want to note that Nick Baker was also unsure about this. The game allegedly will also be announced sometime in September for its 20th anniversary, but not released. It's Crash Insane all over again. At the time of this video, we don't know a release date, and of course, 
Sony and Xbox love announcing games and then take years to release them. But hopefully that means that we will be looking forward to a 2023 release date, hopefully. On top of that, we also got an update on whom is actually developing it, but not from NGT, but from Nick Baker. But remember how I said I made a video about it possibly being Sumo Digital? Well, that was based off of Roberto Serrano's claims. But as I stated in the previous video, Nick Baker was the more stable source. But uh, what was it that I said about Roberto? Roberto, according to a number of people, is not the most reliable leaker. Yeah, that's about right. It seems as though the statement that Sly being developed in the UK was wrong, as the more stable source, Nick Baker, came forward later on and stated that the studio that's working on the new Sly Cooper is not located in the UK. Now, it is possible that perhaps maybe Sumo is assisting the development, but looking at how PlayStation typically works, I very much doubt it. But according to Nick Baker, he believes that Pixel Opus, the PlayStation exclusive studio that is most well known for Concrete Genie, an award nominated PlayStation VR game, will be the studio behind the development of Sly Cooper. <laughs> Get the pun that I said at the start of the video? NGT also commented about Nick Baker's tweet, saying that he corroborates this claim that Pixel Opus is the studio that's going to be working on the game. This came as a bit of a shock because this will seemingly be Pixel Opus's third game that they've ever developed. Their first game, Entwined, being a rhythm game, followed by Concrete Genie. So when I heard about all of this, I decided to go digging to see if there was any more. Now, we knew that Pixel Opus was the one that was working on the next title, so I decided to go and look at their job listings to see if there would be any more hints. Turns out, there's a few more details that we can glean from it. First up, they are looking for people to work on their next project on a specific engine. Now we're gonna play a little game. Can you guess what that engine would be? I'll give you a hint. You already know the answer. It's Unreal. Yep. Another classic coming back in the Unreal Engine. Are you shocked? You shouldn't be. Even KO the Bloody Kangaroo is being done in the Unreal Engine. The next interesting detail is that the job application is letting the applicant know that their next genre of game is action adventure. Now, that is honestly a giant and broad genre and doesn't add much to the evidence pile, but Sly Cooper is in that category, so... <laughs> On top of that, though, the application also stated that the game will be for PlayStation 5, but there is no mentions of PlayStation 4. Now, this is important. A game that is designed specifically for PS5 can't just be re-optimized for the PS4 very easily if that game is using the technology of that specific platform. Look at Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, for example. The way the levels load would not work so well on a PS4 due to the hard drive speed and capability. If this job calls for PS5 and only PS5, then the title would likely be a PlayStation 5 exclusive. Thus, we can determine that Sly Cooper 5 will likely be a PlayStation 5 exclusive. Now, I'm going to bring back one of the oldest pieces of evidence that we used to talk about way back since 2014. Yes, if you've been around, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The Sly Cooper uh, movie, TV show that was canned, cancelled put on ice, it's hard to keep track. Whatever it's been turned into might be coming back in some way, shape, or form. So remember how I said that Pixel Opus is supposed to be developing the next Sly game? Well, according to official PlayStation sources, Pixel Opus's next project is in partnership with Sony Animation. And like we discussed earlier, it seems to be based off of a game that Pixel Opus is developing in the Unreal Engine. So, using our deductive reasoning, it seems that some form of the Sly Cooper show is back in the works and in production 
over at Sony Animation in partnership with Pixel Opus. So what's cool is that we actually have an unofficial time to look at in terms of announcement. It's not just something that's in the aether of we'll see it soon. And that time is September 2022, which is the series' 20th anniversary. We'll just have to see though if all these leaks, rumors, and deductions are correct. If you want to stay up to date on all things Sly Cooper, make sure to subscribe.